So this video, what we're going to be doing is reversing the chain rule again, but this time with exponentials involved. So in the first one, I've got the integral of e to the 8x dx. So if you just consider differentiating e to the 8x, then this is uh, 8e to the 8x. Okay, so the derivative of what's inside comes outside, and e just stays as it is. So I've got 8e to the 8x there, so I've got 1 eighth of what I need. So this will need to be 1 eighth e to the 8x plus c in order for that to differentiate to that. Okay, so we've looked at basic examples of this previously, but you can see that it's still the same idea working behind the scenes. Let's move on. Let's have a look at number 2. 6x times e to the 6x squared plus 1. Okay, so if I consider e to the 6x squared plus 1, and I differentiate that, then the derivative of what's inside comes outside, so that's 12x, and I get e to the 6x squared plus 1. So what have I got? Well, I've got 6 in front, and there's a 12 there. So I've actually got one half of what I need. So this will be one half e to the 6x squared plus 1 plus constant of integration c, because that should differentiate to that. We know that the e to the 6x squared plus 1 differentiates to that, so one half of that is what I need. Let's have a look at number 3. So number three, the integral of 2x squared e to the 4 minus 5x cubed. So let's just look at that e to the 4 minus 5x cubed and differentiate that. So the derivative of the inside comes outside. So the derivative of the 4 minus 5x cubed is minus 15x squared. And I'll have e to the 4 minus 5x cubed. So I've got a 2 there, I've got a minus 15 there. So this will be minus 2 fifteenths um, of e to the 4 minus 5x cubed plus c, because I know that that differentiates to that, so minus 2 fifteenths of this will get me back to the 2. Okay. Right, let's have a look at number 4, last one. So for number four, we're going to look at that e to the x cubed minus 3x squared. And I'm going to differentiate it. So the derivative of what's inside is 3x squared minus 6x uh, e to the x cubed minus 3x squared. Now that bracket I can factorise. So I'm going to pull out the 3 and an x and have left x minus 2. So it's now in the format, the question. So I can see that I've got a 9 here, I've got a 3 there. So 9 over 3 is 3. So I actually need 3 lots of e to the x cubed minus 3x squared plus c. So 3 lots of the derivative of this gets me to what I've got there. Okay, so that's how we can deal with reversing the chain rule and exponentials.